What's going on, everybody? This is Trainer Caller, and it's time for another Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle video today. Thank you guys for coming to this battle video. If you enjoy this, definitely hit that like button and subscribe for more content. And uh, we're back to the regular Wi-Fi battle videos. I had to post a couple of nostalgia battles previously because they were nostalgic and the dates of the games that were released were just there. So go back and watch those nostalgia battles if you haven't seen them already. And, and yeah, so today's battle though, this is a match between myself and Biron. Biron is my friend's relative that I got to meet one weekend when we were hanging out. And um, he is the Wi-Fi battle, or he's, he, he is a Wi-Fi battler, but like he doesn't really do much of that anymore. And like he doesn't follow the Smogon rules. So you'll see Greninja in this battle. You'll see Ninjask and uh, Smeargle. So while those Pokemon are banned, well not completely banned, but like the sets that they run in this battle, they're banned. Uh, I've got ways to overcome them, so it's not a big deal. Uh, so that should be an interesting match, which was, it was a great battle, don't get me wrong, but like, just be aware that the sets that you're going to see, they're banned, but you'll see how I overcome those. For my team here, from left to right, we have Choice Scarf, Man Xiao, Viper, with the high jump kick, Stone Edge, Facade, and U-Turn. Gudra, holding the Assault Vest, has all four attacking moves on it. We have uh, Connor, Connor the Samurai, which is, of course, my mascot, has the Waterfall, Focus Sash, and Aqua Jet combination. So if you're low on health and you're going to go down, just use a priority move to finish off your opponent, assuming that you can. If you can't, well, you know, you try it. It works out in the end, though. We're going to try out Thunderous Theory and Form, okay? Which, I, I, I gotta tell you guys, Thunderous Theory and Form is not a bad Pokemon. I just haven't used it in such a long time. I think the last time I used it was back in black and white. So, and the moves on it, Substitute, Focus Blast, and Thunderbolt, Hidden Power Ice. It's hard to use it for some reason. Uh, so we'll bring it to this battle, and I'll use it in my next video. Last uh, two Pokemon there, we've got Arcanine. This is Spitz, the Arcanine, the defensive set with Will-O-Wisp and Morning Sun, Fairbits, and Crunch. And then we have a shiny Registeel to back it up. So, this is going to be one heck of a battle. Oh my gosh. Two... Be hyped up, for sure. You guys should be. I, I don't know. But anyway, so, uh, starting off the match, I'm going to go for U-Turn. I figure he might protect to get the speed boost, but even after that speed boost, I will still outspeed it, because I am Choice Scarf. Multiplies his speed by 1.5 times. He actually does go for Substitute here, which is... I would say it's not a bad, you know, trade-off instead of protecting on the first turn. He's doing the opposite. I would say it's just going to end up the same result uh, because I'm going to, either way, I'm going to break his substitute with a crunch regardless of who he switches into. So he goes to reveal the Baton Pass. He Baton Passes the Sub and the Speed Modifiers to Smeargle. I'm going to go for the Crunch. 
We're going to break that substitute and expecting a spore. I'm hoping a spore. We're going to go into Google, who has the sap zipper ability. So I'm really happy to see that move there. If he had Dark Void, that would be extremely bad news bears. Because I really don't have anyone who wants to deal with Dark Rise, Sinister Move, Dark Void. Smeargle is a very interesting Pokemon because it can copy and trace any move you want. But it's not going to work out in this battle. So we are able to take out Smeargle because he used, he used Belly Drum. So not going to work out. I do have coverage for Mega Blastoise here in the form of Power Whip. And we don't take him out there, which is a little unfortunate. We do see the Assault Vest in action, as I don't take that much when the Dragon Pulse being boosted by the Mega Launcher ability that Mega Blastoise has. There is a double switch out here. I go into Thunderous. I go for Focus Blast. We do have Speed High Dragon, but we miss, of course, because it's Focus Miss. This is what I'm talking about. And not to mention, Thunderous Therian form is really frail. So you have to use it right. You just have to. But we didn't in this battle, so. Um, he does have the item which, you know, erases the Draco Meteor's drops there. Which is fine by me. I'm going to outspeed anyway because I'm short scarf, guys. We're going to go for U-turn, because I know he might switch into Ninjask, expecting a high jump kick. To think that he might survive it, I don't think so. But I just wanted to be sure that I could, you know, hit Ninjask and not miss my high, my high jump kick. Because if I end up missing it, then that would be pretty bad. Anyways, so we're going to go back into Spitz, the Arcanine. Go for Flare Blitz. Now here is where I made a few misplays. I really thought he might, you know, set up a Source Dance and then go for the Speed Boost and then go for the Compass. I figured he might do that, but he just does it the other way. He just did it so cleverly, if that's ever a word. He, he's so strategic on this. That's what I'm saying. He pulled that off very nicely, so... Good job to Biron for doing that. I am still going to, uh... Try to burn something. I I'm pretty sure he's going to go for a baton pass... Like, really soon there. But he has enough HP to... Get off another substitute. Darn it. So now he has a substitute... Plus two in attack, plus two speed. He gets to pass it to Zangus. Really? I mean, honestly, this is why it's banned in standard play. But you're going to see just how I handle it. We do break the sub with Fur Blitz. But I know that Zangus will all speed me. He wouldn't otherwise. But in this scenario, since speed boost came into effect from Baton Pass, that's that's going to be tough to handle, guys. So I'm going to sacrifice Gudra here. Because I figure he might go for Facade. I need to put in my Choice Scarf Shao on the battlefield. And then, like, High Jump Kick the thing. Or, what I've decided to do is go into Connor. Because I know I have a Focus Sash intact. So I know I can survive this hit right here. There we go. Use Waterfall. Okay. We use it. And he's not going to go down just yet. And then the poison is going to crack up damage. We are out speeding it because of priority with Aqua Jet. There you go. That's style points for you. I could have gone into Man Shao and just had jump and kick the thing. But guys, I wanted to do it my way. Uh, here's Greninja. And um, in case he has a Focus Sash also, because I see those very often as well out there. And uh, we're going to go for Aqua Jet just to, you know, just do something, because I know he's just going to knock me out. 
Not always can go in and be a shower and just click hide some kick. We're not going to mess around anymore. I don't want to be... I really don't want to be too cute with my attacking moves. I just have to handle it properly. Here's my dragon. And I don't know... I don't know if he got a scarf or not, but he's going to find out right here. I really thought he would figure out that I am a choice scarf, but he found out right there. Now, at this point of the battle, my friend... Biron told me that he has the feeling I'm going to miss the high jump kick. And I'm like, oh no, I'm not going to take that risk. So we're going to switch out in the righteous seal. He's going to go for water pulse. And I take that really well for being especially defensive. However, this aura sphere is not going to uh, save righteous seal there. Righteous seal is going to go down. That's okay, because I'm going to go back into Viper, click Stone Edge, because I could take out Blastoise, and then finish off Ninjask. Because, you know, Stone Edge is super effective against Ninjasking. That didn't work out too well, did it? So now my last Pokemon is Spitz the Arcanine. I have to take out Blastoise and the Ninjask. Forever is going to take out Blastoise. Ooh, that was close. Cause if, I, if I got a minimum damage roll there, the game would be over by now. But uh, yeah, this is pretty much reaching out to the wire because I don't think Ninjask has anything to hit the Arcanine with. So he ends up, you know, running away from this battle. But that was a really fun match. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And yeah. Uh, I have another battle against one of my greatest rivals, Stephanie. So look out for that battle. And I will see you in the next video. Alright, have a great day, traders.